Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, this is going to be your love reading for tonight. Uh, I don't have much time tonight and um, so I just said that I would get a reading out for you so I wanted to do that. If you're new please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. This is a Virgo channel only. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, personal reading link is below the um, video here in the description box and I am running a special until the end of February so go over and check that out where it is um, over 50% off 30 minute phone call. Hi everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, so I already shuffled. Oh one quick announcement too. Um, you can also become a member for free of the new bulletin board that I've created. It's a topic discussion board. It's called oversoul.space. There's a link in the description box below and in my community tab if you want to join. It's free to join. And um, go on over there and become a member. And it's just a spiritual board. We talk tarot, relationships, all kinds of cool stuff. And it's just for you guys. Okay, so do check that out. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a short reading for tonight. I've, and you know going forward into the rest of the month and I've already shuffled your cards and the two cards that came out when I was shuffling these two just flipped out in the white in the bottom right hand corner these are from the messages of love oracle deck so you have twin flame and regret um, <laughs> so obviously this is a twin flame connection perhaps for some of you where um, there's a lot of regret maybe about not coming over, not being together. Um, is this somebody that you knew in the past? Perhaps maybe it was a, um, a twin flame and separation kind of situation. You know, if you think this is your person who's a twin flame, um, understand that if they are, um, twin flames are not abusive relationships. If you were in a connection with someone and it was abusive, um, that's a karmic. That's not a twin flame. Twin flame relationships, you know, you guys could be in separation um, where there isn't any abuse or it may have felt like a separation or a breakup was really harsh, so it may have felt like abuse. Um, but it seems to me like for some of you, and it may not be attached to this reading, there is a twin flame connection where somebody's feeling remorse or some type of regret for the way that they treated you, okay? So I felt like the need to put that out there as soon as I could. So let's really get started into your reading here. So the three cards at the top, kisses, engagement ring, and a love call. <clears throat> okay, Virgo. <clears throat> so you're definitely going to be getting some kisses from somebody. The message is on that card, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love, and engagement ring. Okay. The Ace of Wands is here too. So there may be a new, a new beginning happening with somebody. All right. Um, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union, and a love call. Someone expresses their love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Okay, somebody might be um, calling and um, <clears throat> or messaging with little emoji kisses. Um, there's affection. I feel like somebody's falling in love or will be falling in love with you, Virgo, coming up. Okay, and there's somebody here, I feel, who is looking for their other half to the point where with engagement ring, this is someone who I feel wants commitment with you, okay? Um, or is looking for a long-term relationship. We have the Four of Pentacles, so that's a card of long-term security, okay? So there's definitely a new beginning starting here for you, okay? You, you might meet this person. This could be somebody that you work with, or this is someone who works really hard at their job. Um, they do... I, it feels like the kind of work they do is rote. It's day in and day out. It's like every day, like very focused on the work that they do. Um, and I feel like the work that they do, they really love. They enjoy it very much. Now, 
it's interesting because we have two eights. Um, so eight and eight is 16 and reduce that to seven. This is all about mastery and spirituality insight and success so i feel like that's the overall theme here for your love life for your your relationships so with the eight of wands this is a lot of messages coming in this is good news this is travel uh somebody is changing um or is coming in and, and calling you a lot uh, I feel like you have an admirer or someone who's tremendously interested in you, very passionate about you. It feels like a new beginning. Okay. Now, some of you may have left a relationship in the past. Maybe it was a twin flame. Somebody may not have been ready to connect with you. Um, you, I feel like some of you have risen. You've like the Phoenix is rising. You've gotten yourself into um, an upper echelon in your life. You've just kept it moving. <laughs> you know, I like to say, you just, just kept moving on. You just kept doing what you were doing um, in your life, especially like yesterday's reading was a lot about that. And I feel like now, um, whoever wasn't there for you in the past, that twin flame message has a lot of regret because I feel like this person sees that you're moving on. Okay. They may feel like you're moving on, that you are just no longer connecting with them anymore. And I don't know that it's you don't want to. I just feel like this person is feeling it. They're sensing it. You're not waiting around. You are still um, ascending in a lot of ways. Now, for some of you, this could be that person because of their regret or because they feel remorse for not having a committed relationship or offering that or, or working that out with you um, or just even trying to have a partnership, a working partnership like the lovers, which is a card of partnership. Somebody didn't make a decision. Okay. Or decided against a relationship with you. It could be that person. Now you're going to start getting calls from them. Where are you? What are you doing? This person misses your kisses, um, your affection. You were, um, they see that you were very unconditionally loving them, that you were very giving, um, and they loved receiving all of that affection for you, and they, they knew that you fell in love with them. But I feel like something must have happened, Virgo, where I feel like you outgrew maybe a relationship or a connection with someone where you just kept growing. And when you look back at that person, they're still in that same energy that you left them in. Even if this person left you, you just continued to grow and this person is still behaving in similar patterns, whatever it might be. So for some of you, this does feel like this person is going to be reaching out to have a new start and to tell you that they want to commit or they want to be with you. They want to have that connection with you. They're ready to make that commitment. They're ready to partner up. But Virgo, I feel like a lot of you are, for you, it, 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 I'm just picking up this energy of like, you're working so hard on yourself. You're doing so great with yourself. You don't know if you want to go back to something here. And I feel like you're holding strong and you're holding steady to having a new beginning because you know you deserve love. And some of you, it just feels like you love that person from the past and they see that you're a very loving person, you know, that you're very, you were very affectionate. Um, I do feel like this person is, is going to call you or, or reach out or send a message to tell you they've been thinking of you and they wanted to let you know. I do feel like their intentions are to have partnership with you, but I don't know how, how your, um, 
it's not that I don't feel like you want to still have that with this person, but it don't really feel like you... I just kind of feel like you just don't want to go back. That's really what I, that's really the energy I'm getting. Because you're so busy working on yourself. Some of you might be traveling um, the end of February into March. You're exploring, you're feeling inspired in your life. You're withholding in a lot of ways. You're not chasing. Um, maybe you were over giving a lot in a relationship in the past. And that person didn't appreciate it. So you took your energy, pulled your energy back. And now they're thinking of you. They're wondering where you are. They're missing the affection. Definitely. Okay. Um, I see you out here flirting. I see you having fun. You know that you're lovable. Some of you just woke up this morning. You looked at yourself in the mirror and you're like, damn, I'm fine. I look good. I like myself. I'm happy. How can anyone not be interested? <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are in that energy. Or you're getting into that energy. You know, of course you're flirting with me. You know, I'm a great person. I feel like a lot of you have just, you know, you're feeling inspired with that Ace of Wands. You know, you have, the, you have like this newfound urge to build yourself, to build, to create. You know, and this person I feel like is coming back with this regret, you know, because I feel like you outgrew someone. You just did. I, mean, I don't know, like, it doesn't feel like your love is gone. It just feels like they, they can't give to you what you need now. You've, your needs have changed. Maybe before in the past, you, um, you needed different things from them. And maybe in the past, they were able to fulfill those things. But now, it feels like you're not so sure if they can. And while this person is um, going to be reaching out and messaging you over and over with the Eight of Wands, I feel like your back is turned to them with the Eight of Pentacles. Like you're just, you're focused on your building and creating and what you're doing for yourself. And I feel like you're protecting your heart. You know? Um, because I feel like a lot of you, I mean, you might flirt with this person and all, but I just don't get a sense you take them seriously because it feels like they're coming in with this flirtatious energy. They're thinking of you. They're sending messages of love. You know, they want to kiss. They, they want to give you kisses and stuff, but it, it's all romantic. And also talk about marriage or commitment and all that, but it's kind of like, I feel like you look at that person or you think about that person and it's not just about now the marriage and the commitment. It's about, man, this is going to take a really long time for you to really show me. I can't just accept this offer because so much damage has been done. There's just been so much of uh, lies and betrayal. You know, it's like you're like, I mean, you're very clear headed. You know, it's like, okay, you want to show me this, these shiny new things, but these shiny new things, I mean, are you trying to put me in a trance? Because <laughs> that's what I feel like this person thinks to themselves. Well, all I have to do is show the bling or show all this fancy schmancy shiny new things and Virgo will give in. Virgo will cave and Virgo is like, nah, nah, not at this point. Da a lot of damage has been done and I can do I can do by myself way better by myself than be in a relationship with someone where I feel by myself you know so I like your energy I feel like you are you know really recognizing your worth you know you deserve the love because you're lovable I feel like you're also light-hearted in a lot of ways because you've let go you know it's not like you've let go and you're just sinking in deep i see you letting go and replacing it with self-love and and so that kind of makes you feel um just like light on your step you know like it's almost like some of you are looking back and, and getting to a point now where you're just kind of saying, you know, 
that person didn't want to work it out and they regret that, but that's not my problem. I gave what I could give. I did the best that I could. And I'm okay with that because that tells me that I'm worthy and I'm valuable and I loved with all my heart. Yes, I'm going to guard my heart from this person coming in because a simple love call or telling me that you're thinking of me or just an engagement ring or sending me kisses or kisses and stuff like that, it, it's just not going to be enough or just, you know, giving me the, the sh these shiny new things, trying to tempt me. It's just because I feel like you have a thing where if you were to give in to this person, giving you these shiny new things like a new car or the key to the house uh, all the things that you wanted before there's this wait what's the catch is it bait i feel like there's a trust issue for some of you and if you give in you're kind of fearful that you're going to get burned again and you've been doing all this work to love yourself and get your you're getting yourselves back which is really great because that's you can't how can you really be in a healthy relationship if you don't if you're not loving yourself right not not narcissistic love but really like putting yourself first caring about yourself i see a lot of you you know you're waking up in the morning and you're not looking at your phone uh you're not looking to see if this person's called you or you haven't been um you're finding yourselves thinking about your day before you start thinking about this person which is really great because that means you're healing you know if you're still waking up and you're you know you're still thinking about your checking you know it, it's just a process and that's fine you know you got to go through that process everybody goes through it but it feels to me like you have two charms here you have a dragon and you have the broom and the broom really is calling out to me that you're sweeping away the dust in your life you're clearing out the clutter you're opening yourself up to yourself okay and the new opportunities that will come into your life you have honeymoon so i do feel like you're going to be i don't know if there's is there a holiday coming up let's see february no march I don't know, spring break, maybe. I'm seeing you spending some time with someone during spring break. If you're traveling or you might be, um, maybe you're not traveling, but you're taking that time off. Maybe you spend some time with your kids, your grandkids. Um, now, it could be this person flirting with you as well. Um, a past, you know, the past twin flame who has regret asking about traveling or getting together during a spring break kind of thing um you know like going away together um i'm not so sure that you will but some of you might you know um some of you might not be in a negative energy with this person some of you might actually uh, you know if this person really comes in and puts in effort and shows with the eight of pentacles that they're really doing the work or they've been working on themselves you know this person i mean even with the ace of wands you know if you like males this person's definitely got a they have a heart on for you for sure um they're trying not to show it but they do <laughs> um and you know if you like females maybe you, you know if you're a male maybe you have one too but um i definitely feel for some Remember, I'm speaking to a lot of people. So I do feel like for some of you, this is someone whom you were hoping that things could, um, that you guys could have another go and make something work. I feel like this person will come in and show you that they have been working on things and they've been really um, trying to raise the bar on themselves to match you, okay? Because the regret and the remorse has been heavy on this person's soul, heavy on their heart, because they're aware um, that the connection between the two of you is, is stellar. It's unlike anything they've had in the past, present, or will ever have with anybody else. And Virgo, that's you. You know, you have that, 
You got that aura about you. You have that um, that charm. And so you're not really worried if things don't work out because you know that you will, <laughs> you'll have love again in your life. So you're not stressing. So that broom is really making me feel like you, you're cleaning house, man. You are, you're cleaning house. You're cleaning up all the junk that's been hanging off you physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You know, you're walking around with that broom in typical Virgo fashion like let me get this shit up off the floor let me clean out my closet let me get myself prepared for the 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 good weather coming in or a new season coming in you know and you got the fire of a dragon here you're just like you're burning down the house i see you, you got that dragon energy some of you might be um you're the dragon of course i feel like that always comes up uh, there must be a lot of you're the dragon there's in here but you know the dragon is just like whew, nobody nobody messing with the dragon dragon's on fire dragon's like a go-getter and i feel like that's your energy going forward you're in go-getter mode you're like if you want to live with regret or if anybody wants to live with regret and remorse that's on them i'm not living my life like that you know so i feel like a lot of you are taking it upon yourselves like you're you're getting your bow and arrow and you're shooting at targets knowing exactly what you want looking at the path you need you're not shooting them at people you're 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 crushing goals a lot of you are crushing goals and you're consistent i see you working every single day and i see you making huge changes in your life going forward especially like you're, a lot of you are starting new things you know the ace of wands is that's your passion that's your creativity you're creating new beginnings for yourself and you're, you're watching the growth some of you are just i'm just hearing starting planting some seedlings you know and you have someone here I, i'm feeling like i'm feeling like a lot of um like some possessive energy big time greed yeah greed so some of you might be like really greedy about yourselves you know you're holding on to your money your, you, you know your assets you're not spending a lot you're working really hard and you're saving your money for I don't know what you're saving for maybe some projects that you're working on or some things that you are um, creating in your life and I'm definitely seeing a lot of travel a lot of travel coming up for you yeah, so, you know, Virgo, those were your messages. Like I said, it was going to be short and sweet. Um, a little bit of a different style than I usually do. But um, I will uh, leave this here with you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope, you know, I, I feel like a sense of like, oh my gosh, this is only 20, 23, 24, 25 minutes. Um, but... I don't know somebody here i feel like needed to hear this message i've been working so hard on my other um on my forum that um i really hope that you guys go over there and join um so we can get closer and get to know each other better i think you'll like it i think you will really enjoy it it'll be a lot of fun building a new community for us here so yeah i'm going to leave your message there and again if you want to get a personal reading for me there's a link description box below this video so go over and peruse that special will end february 28th so i have a couple weeks left for that and uh yeah so i will see you guys tomorrow enjoy your um your day all right love you guys bye